Joseph was a carpenter who lived in Nazareth. He was pledged in marriage to Mary. Before they were married, God sent the angel Gabriel to Mary. He said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Through the Holy Spirit, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will reign forever, and his kingdom will have no end. He will be called the Son of God. Joseph had a dream where an angel appeared saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. What the angel had said came to pass, and Joseph kept Mary with him. Joseph and Mary had to travel from Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, all the way to Bethlehem. This was the town of Joseph's ancestor, David. There were so many travelers and the road was long. By the time they arrived in Bethlehem, they could not find a place to spend the night. They were told to go find shelter in the stables where the animals were kept. While they were there, Mary gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in the manger. Now in that same region, there were shepherds keeping watch over their flock. An angel of the Lord stood before them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news of a great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Messiah, the Lord. You will find this child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Shepherd said, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place. When the shepherds arrived and saw Jesus, they spoke about the appearance of the angels. Mary treasured all these words and held them in her heart. There were Magi, wise people from the east, who were following a wild star toward Judea, toward Bethlehem. They followed the star until it stopped over the place where their child was. They saw the child with his mother and knelt down to pay him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. All of this fulfilled what God had said through the prophet. We call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. O morning star together, proclaim thy holy 